Xiaomi just launched the Redmi Note 7 Pro. I was at the launch event and this was my experience. Four amazing products at ultra cheap price tags. Xiaomi has definitely exceeded all our expectations. But then the presentation itself is just like what we see in any other launch event. Brands don't tell you everything about the phone, especially the negatives, which leads to a lot of questions in consumers' minds. So in this video, I'll be answering a number of questions that you guys asked on Twitter. Basically, it's an FAQ. Uh, before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Ashwin Sundar. This is Technology Jock. If you find this video useful and informative, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. It really means a lot. Let's check out our sponsor Rosebus for a moment. Rosebus application is a content aggregation platform, something like YouTube, but on Rosebus, there are videos like these, and then there are dubbing videos like TikTok, and there are a ton of interesting articles as well. You can select from the various categories at the top, like entertainment, technology, cricket, politics, and even health. If you're a news person, the app has you covered with news updates from all over the world. And once you log in, you can upload your own videos like a dub smash or something. Uh, the app supports five commonly spoken languages in India and will soon introduce nine more regional languages. So check out Rosebuzz, link is in the description. So let me open up my Twitter. Is Snapdragon 675 more powerful than Snapdragon 710? Uh, someone has already answered that question. Uh, CPU is faster, but GPU is slightly slower. So both 710 and 675 use two fast cores and six slow cores for power efficiency. But then the 710 uses the older Cryo 360 CPU, while the new 675 chip uses Cryo 460, which is based on the latest Cort Cortex-A76 cores. So the 675 is definitely mildly faster than the 710, at least on paper. Uh, but then when it comes to GPU, 675 uses Adreno 612 GPU, while the 710 uses Adreno 616 GPU. So this one, uh, the 710 is slightly better for gaming performance. And the 675 is the only mid-range chip to use the latest Cortex A76 cores. I'm not really a fan of uh, Qualcomm's naming convention here. <laughs> they could have gone for a different name, like Snapdragon 715 or something. As the Note 7 supports QC 4.0, what are the best adapters which support the same? How fastly can it charge the phone? Now, first off, I'm not sure how fast it can charge the phone. I've been using this only for the past few hours. I haven't even charged it once. Um, yes, it supports QZ 4.0. Uh, the adapter in the Xiaomi uh, Note 7 Pro box doesn't come with a fast charging adapter at all. It just comes with a regular 5 volts to add 2 amps adapter. It's not even QC 3.0. So uh, we actually spoke about this to Xiaomi. I mean, we gave feedback as in they have a QC 3.0 adapter on their website, which costs just uh, 350 or 400 rupees so uh, we asked if they'd bring a 4.0 adapter in the future they said they'll definitely try because these days there are a bunch of smartphones supporting qc 4.0 but there is no adapter available in the market right now there are a few qc 4.0 adapters available on amazon.com but in india there is no reliable qc 4.0 adapter available right now xiaomi compared the camera with iphone 10 as in oneplus 60 is it fair to compare Note 7 Pro with flagship devices? Is the camera really that good? Um, to be honest, the Note 7 Pro actually uses a flagship level camera. Maybe not flagship level, but uh, take the other phone with the IMX586 sensor. It's the Honor View 20. It costs 38,000 rupees. So this phone literally has the camera of a 38,000 rupee phone. So comparing is fine. But I'm not sure if this will actually defeat phones like the OnePlus 60 and iPhone XS when it comes to camera performance. Because even in their own presentation, I found some pictures of uh, the Note 7 Pro to be inferior to that of the OnePlus 60. Like here, look at the highlights, the sky. It's all completely blown out on the Note 7 Pro's image. While on the 60's image, everything is clear. The dynamic range is amazing. So it really depends. And one more important thing, it's always better to take those camera comparisons with a pinch of salt. Uh, those in the launch event, I mean. Because we don't know what settings they use. Like uh, on the Note 7 Pro, maybe HDR was enabled. And on the iPhone XS, maybe it was disabled. Um, maybe on the Note 7 Pro, AI mode was enabled. I mean, they just show two pictures side by side. We don't know what settings they used to capture those pictures. Uh, HDR, AI, 
etc etc so but if you guys want a camera comparison between the note 7 pro and the one plus 60 uh, i will try to get it done let me know in the comments below if you want it next question so the tweet i posted it has like 70 replies and this is the most asked question is camera 2 api enabled can you install google camera on the note 7 pro well um before using this device i asked someone from xiaomi uh, they said uh, it's not enabled by default so i was pretty bummed out about it uh, initially then i was like okay let, let's just try once what's the big deal and surprisingly it actually supports camera to api and i also managed to find a stable google camera build and installed it on the phone and it works really well i mean there are a few niggles here and there like the selfie camera is not that great uh, in google camera app because the colors look kind of washed out but most other things work quite well the regular camera mode uh, night sight also works flawlessly uh, that's the most important thing i guess from google camera app and another thing google camera does have a 48 megapixel option in settings but then after clicking the picture if you go to uh, the details it doesn't show 48 megapixels it's just 4000 by 3000 pixels which is 12 megapixels so google camera cannot capture 48 megapixel photos although an option for it is displayed in settings next one does it have widebind l1 support now this one's gonna disappoint you no the note 7 pro does not support widebind l1 uh, this is again something i spoke about to xiaomi they said if enough people want white by l1 if enough people let them know that they want white by l1 they will be able to do it via a software update i mean that's what they did to poco f1 right it launched last year uh, it did not have support for camera to api it did not have support for white by l1 but both of them have been enabled recently uh, via software updates so it's up to you guys uh, if you are planning to buy a redmi note 7 pro if you go on miui forums and talk about it uh, tell them how much you want widebind l1 support then xiaomi will probably consider enabling it via an ota update but yeah honestly i feel they should do it because these days we use a lot of data we consume we can consume 1 or 1.5 gb every single day that's how good the network plans are across networks like airtel geo vodafone etc so i feel streaming in hd is something many people will do these days and without wideband l1 support sticking to standard definition is kind of a bummer you cannot play hd videos on amazon prime or netflix polycarbonate or metal side the sides are actually made of uh, plastic it's not metal for sure but the back is made of uh, glass gorilla glass 5 and the front uh, display is also covered by gorilla glass 5 so that's pretty good protection in my honest opinion okay asutosha sahu has asked multiple questions in one tweet how is the camera at night photography um, i didn't use it at night but i did use it indoors under very dim lighting conditions with all the lights switched off because i wanted to test how the google camera's night sight is working on this phone and it worked quite well even the pictures coming out of the stock camera were quite good galaxy a50 or note 7 pro priority performance and camera well, performance i'd have to give it to the snapdragon 675 the note 7 pro it's definitely faster than the exynos 9610 found on the galaxy a50 the 9610 has four powerful cores compared to just two powerful cores on the 675 but then on the 9610 uh, the four powerful cores are old cortex a73 cores so after the a73 we have a75 and then we have the a76 which is what the 675 chip uses so it doesn't matter if the 675 has only two powerful cores the cores themselves are like super powerful so 675 it is does the note 7 pro have dedicated micro sd card support no there is a hybrid slot so if you use two sims you cannot use the micro sd card slot redmi note 7 pro doesn't have ois right nope it doesn't how is the pro mode can we really play around with it so this is an interesting one until now on redmi phones like redmi note 6 pro redmi 6 redmi note 5 pro we could only change settings to an extent like you can play around with white balance uh, iso and shutter speed and shutter speed you cannot go beyond half a second but on the note 7 pro you have a fully fledged manual mode you can the shutter speed goes up to 32 seconds uh, you can even change focus manually this is the same pro mode found on Xiaomi's flagships like Mi Mix 3, uh, Mi 9, etc. This is something I've been wanting for a long time on the Xiaomi's budget device and they have finally done it. Does it have notification LED? Yes, it does. 
Uh, the top actually has no bezel right now. There's only a dew drop notch, which Xiaomi calls dot notch. But the notification LED has gone to the bottom chin now. Is graphics set to high in PUBG by default on the Note 7 Pro? Let's check it out. Uh, as you can see, yes, uh, the default settings is set to high, which is a really good thing. But then how it actually performs in high graphic settings, uh, I'm not really sure. I haven't played PUBG yet. So that's it. I guess I answered all the important questions and cleared all the doubts. And guys, don't forget to check out our sponsors, Rosebuzz application. Link is in the description. Questions regarding camera performance compared to other smartphones or speed test, etc. I'll have to use the phone for a while and do a lot of testing. Only then I'll be able to come up with a solid answer. Not just me, be it anybody. It's not possible to explain such things without thoroughly testing the phone. So if you want a camera comparison or speed test, let me know which phone to compare this with in the comment section. I'll try to come up with those videos as soon as possible. For now, I'm sure most of the questions you had in mind have been answered. If that's true, then hit the like button. Uh, more importantly, subscribe to Technology Jock and hit the bell icon for more Note 7 Pro videos. Now, I know I've been stuttering a lot in this video. I'm kind of very sick right now. Uh, sorry if that affected the quality of the video. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Ashwin Sundar leaving for the moment. Have a great day.